Every spring, the Keweenaw Bird Research Group counts raptors on the top of Brockway Mountain. I caught up with their counter, Tim Barrowald, near the end of this season to learn more about what they do. The season runs March 15th through June 15th. You count pretty much eight hours a day, seven days a week, unless it's raining, fogged in, or snowing. So, And even then, like if the rain stops, you'll come up and count, or if the fog dissipates, you'll come up and count. So, It's all the raptors, so vultures, hawks, eagles, falcons. If a kite wants to fly by, we'll count it. So, you know, if an owl flies by, you'll count it too. And that's pretty much it's what those birds are considered raptors and they're diurnal migrants f flying during the day. And they all kind of have similar physical features. So they kind of all get lumped together. And that's what you keep track of on these counts. When we're counting, we're trying, if possible, you want to identify them to species and then age them. And some of the birds, you can sex them. It's so like rough-legged hawks, if it's a good look, you can separate males from females. By doing that, you can get a pretty large data set of how many species, how many individuals in that species, and how many ages. And all that data from our count and all the other counts in North America go to a central database that's run by Hawk Migration Association of North America. And you can get a pretty good picture of how many raptors are migrating north in the spring and south in the fall. And by doing that, you can learn a lot about the rest of the ecosystem because raptors are an apex predator. They're top of the food chain. And you can learn a lot about what's happening below that all the way down to like, you know, how much food is out there for mice to feed on that the raptors are eating just by counting them and keeping track of them. And that was something where doing raptor counts, they figured out what DDT was doing. It's really fascinating. And by having all that data centralized, it makes it easy to learn, see big picture changes. Usually the peak migration is like first week of May. That's when adult broadwings hit. And broadwing hawk is pretty much the only raptor that completely leaves North America every year. So the entire population leaves, goes down through Mexico, goes down south of Mexico, over winters, and then in the spring, they all come back. So you get huge flights of them. Back in April, when it was more of a typical spring airflow with a lot of south winds, had 120 rough-legged hawks in a day. And that's the second highest record ever for the Keweenaw. And that's going back into like the 60s and 70s. On a day like today, the raptors will be riding thermals, where they can just get into the thermal, circle up, coast off the top, go down to the next thermal, up, and they never have to flap. When you get the wind that picks up and starts building, it starts breaking up the thermals. And then instead of riding thermals, the raptors shift to riding updrafts off the ridge lines here. When the raptors are running the ridge line, it's like what, counting cars on an interstate. Just, they're running right past one, two, four, five at a time. So you can just see all the ridges extending down and out in the Keweenaw. And Brockway is the northmost ridge. So after here, you got Lake Superior. Raptors don't like flying over open water. It, they have to flap, they have no place to land, where if they could stay over land, they can ride thermals and updrafts off the cliff edges. So they get concentrated. So with a south wind, all the birds, potentially all the birds in the key when all the raptors migrating could be pushed up onto this ridge line. And that's how you get thousands in a day. And because they're running the updrafts, they're low. You know, you'll look down, they're in the valley, they're coming right by at eye level. And you don't get that in many other places in the country, and especially in the east, and especially in the Midwest. Like, there's another no place like this in Michigan. You know, everywhere else, they're just cruising up high overhead. We're here on a good day. I mean, they're right here in your face. And the Keweenaw is kind of a dead end for them because it ends in Lake Superior. So they get to the tip and then they go, presumably, they go, oh, <laughs> huh, it's <laughs> a lot of water. And then they turn around and it seems like we assume <laughs> there's more research that could be done. We assume they then leave the Keweenaw and go around probably through Duluth and around that side. We don't know. It's something where banding studies should be done and nanotakes and GPS. You could learn a lot about it, but that hasn't happened yet. <laughs> Last season was the record low and the season's about 2000 better than that. So that's good. It's not close to like the good years from 10 years ago or so, but we've had kind of a new weather pattern last two springs where about the time the migration's peaking, we drop into a month of north winds or northeast winds or east winds. And that just shuts the flight down for up here where up here you want south winds to push the birds up to the into the Keweenaw and then to this side of the Keweenaw. It's not uncommon on those conditions at peak migration to get a couple thousand birds coming by. And the last two springs, we haven't had those conditions during peak migration. So your peak day is 400, 500 birds, which the birds are still migrating. They're just not coming 
all the way up here. You know, other counts along Lake Superior the last two springs have had average or above average seasons. This point where we are along Lake Superior is right in the middle. There's counts in Duluth, there's counts at Whitefish and the Straits. And so we are pretty integral right here in getting the data that would fill that whole area and everything coming up the central highway, the migration highway. We do have a website. Um, it's the Keweenaw Bird Research Group and it's the kbrg.org. Um, you can also put brockwayhawkwatch.org. They both go to that page and it's got all the information, more detailed history, what we count. We, we post the reports from the counter annually, so there's a there's a very detailed report on there every year. Mm -hmm.